Hi my dear student, today we will discuss chapter 4, inverse trigonometric function. Exercise 4.3, question number 1. Find the domain of tan inverse of square root of 9 minus x square and find the domain of half times tan inverse of 1 minus x square minus 45. So, since the domain of tan inverse x is minus infinity comma plus infinity. Since the domain of tan inverse x is minus infinity comma plus infinity. In this case we have tan inverse of root square root of 9 minus x square. So for square root inside the square root the value must be positive. If it is negative it will be imaginary. So strictly your 9 minus x square is greater than or equal to 0. So 9 is greater than or equal to x square. When minus x square comes here, plus x square. That is x square less than or equal to 9. That is mod x less than or equal to 3. Or that is x lies between minus 3 to plus 3. x lies between minus 3 to plus 3. See, if you take 1, 2, 3, maximum 3 equal to 9. If you take 4, if you take 4, it will be 16 and it will be more than 9. If up to minus 3, it gives the square as plus 9. No problem. Which is less than or equal to 9. So, mod x less than or equal to 3. Mod x less than or equal to 3 means x lies between minus 3 to plus 3. That is what I get. So, in this case, in this case, the domain is minus 3 comma plus 3 closed interval. Got it? So, option number 1, we have tan inverse of square root of 9 minus x square. Because of square root, before that, the domain of tan inverse is tan in, find the domain of tan inverse of square root of 9 minus x square. Since the domain of tan inverse x is minus infinity comma plus infinity. But in this case we have tan inverse of square root of 9 minus x square. When square root comes inside the square root always must be positive. So the inside the square root we have 9 minus x square. Therefore strictly 9 minus x square is greater than or equal to 0. This minus x square comes here plus x square. So 9 greater than or equal to x square. That is x square less than or equal to 9 vice versa. So in this case, x takes the maximum value of plus 3 gives 9 and minimum value of minus 3 gives 9. And in between values, uh, square will be less than 9. So therefore, I can write mod x less than or equal to 3. Taking square root is modulus. So that is x lies between minus 3 to plus 3. In this case, the domain is, for this case, the domain is lies between minus 3 to plus 3. Because when you select any value between minus 3 and plus 3, it exists. In this case, I have 1 by 2 tan inverse of 1 minus x square minus 5 by 4. In this case, no restriction for 1 minus x square. So, if I am giving a value for x between minus 1 to plus 1, it will be positive or it will be 0. So, otherwise it will be negative. So, no problem about tan inverse x. So, in this case, in this case, the domain of tan inverse x is r. That is minus infinity comma plus infinity. Is it clear? So, option number 2, since the domain of tan inverse x is minus infinity comma plus infinity. In this case, no restriction. Therefore, domain of this one, half times tan inverse of 1 minus x square minus 5 by 4 is nothing but real. That is minus infinity comma plus infinity open interval. Got it?